Can you please reduce the fan speed? Yes. So guys, have you ever been amazed how the big size fan speed regulator of the earlier times has been reduced by this miniature regulator? Let us understand. So friends, let us understand that how in the earlier times the big size fan speed regulators have been replaced by a miniature and a small size speed regulators for your ceiling fan. What is the principle of operation? What is the technology and how it gives you efficient operation? Let us understand. Basically, if you see, we have two types of fan regulators. Basically, there can be multiple other options also, but we are focusing majorly on the basis of the conceptual issue, we are focusing on two types. The first one is resistive regulator and the second one is phase angle control regulator or it is also called as thyristor or SCR based or thyristor based fan speed regulators. Okay. So, in the earlier times, what we were using? We were using the resistive regulators. Resistive regulators, as the name indicates, they were using the resistance of the circuit, of the control circuit to regulate the fan speed. But because resistance is going to be involved here, there used to be more losses and the operation was jerky. In the earlier times, when you switch the fan speed from one uh, level to another level, there is a certain jerk in the operation of the fan if you observe properly. But nowadays, we have very smooth functioning of changing or controlling the fan speed. And this is, this has become successful because of this phase angle control regulator. So, let us understand their principle of working. The first one is resistive regulator. As the name indicates, I told you, it used the different sets of resistors which are introduced and taken out of the circuit and depending upon the values of those resistors cut in and cut out you are having different fan speeds but as i told you this operation was jerk or jerky you can say certain jerk you are going to experience when you change the fan speed from one level to another level this is the symbolic representation of this type of uh, fan speed regulator as you can see and if you go to the next one that is the phase angle control speed regulator and you can see its miniature size it must be installed in your home also it is just a size of few centimeters and operating it is also very easy you have to use very less force very smooth functioning is there and there is no jerk in the speed of the performance of the fan when you change the speed. What is the main technology or main device we are using in this? Let us understand. Basically, we are using two important components that is diac and triac. If you ask me, this triac is the heart of this device which actually gives you the smooth functioning of controlling your fan speed with very low losses, very low losses. It is very efficient. This is the basic fan regulator circuit diagram. If you observe, this is basically the potentiometer. This is the potentiometer. And this is a resistance used for the biasing, biasing of the circuit. This diac is basically used to trigger the gate circuit of this triac. Triac is the main component. Triac gives you the variable speed for your ceiling fan. Is it clear? If you talk about these two important devices, triac and diac, they belong to the SCR or thyristor family. They both are bidirectional. Triac stands for triode for alternating current. It is basically used in high power switching in AC waveforms. Whereas if you talk about diac, diac is diodes for alternating current and this is generally used for low power mode 
but here in this circuit it is used for triggering the triac gate terminal. It is also bidirectional having two electrodes. It only works when it surpass, surpasses its break over voltage. Basically these two are switches. They can operate either in the on state or in the off state depending upon the voltage condition. For this diac, we are having only one criteria that is the break over voltage. If the voltage applied is more than this voltage, then it is going to go into the on stage, otherwise it is off. This is the general symbolic representation of diac and triac. You can see this is your triac having the gate terminal. Gate terminal basically gives, gives it a controlling feature so that you can get the variable speeds. But if you see the diac, it is, it is having only two terminals and there is no control feature. Either it can be on or off. But here you get a control feature also. This is the IV characteristic, current voltage characteristic of diac you can see. And whenever the voltage is going to become more than break over voltage, it is going to go into the on state. Similarly, you have the triac circuit also. This is the waveform which is being modified by using the triac and diac circuit. You see this is the AC waveform. In every cycle, whether it is the positive cycle or negative cycle because these components are bidirectional. By using some gate triggering, we are clipping, uh, we are modifying this waveform and what is happening during first part of the cycle, the capacitor that was connected the, in the circuit, it is going to charge and after that it is discharged. During this process, during this process, you get, you get a certain voltage level or variation in the fan speed and it is happening in all the cycles, positive cycle also and negative cycle also. So if you like the concept, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to Baiju's exam prep for all such informative videos. Thank you so much.